and I want to welcome you aboard the Drifter 2, captained by Captain Jim Fleming, and we're out here targeting trophy, trophy muskie. And we're out here on a body of water in the Canadian Michigan area called Lake St. Clair, and it's well known for its huge population of these trophy muskie. And the muskie is definitely the top of the food chain, and so that's why we're out here in the first place. Big fish, mainly fish, thick fish. And when it comes to fighting a muskie, I'm going to tell you what, you got your hands full. And so what we're hoping to do today is to sort of illustrate some of the ways that you can target muskie on big water, trolling. And we're here with probably the best guide there is out here for muskie, and that's Captain Jim Fleming. Jim, how do you think that we're going to go about targeting these fish here today? Well, Don, today we're going to be out here big body of water, so we're out here looking for bait. There's not a whole bunch of structure in St. Clair, so we're going to look for bait fish, and the muskies will find the bait. We're going to be using primarily pro, uh, planer boards, trolling with planer boards out here, catch those fish. Jim, I understand we're going to be trolling. What kind of lures, in general, are we going to be using? Don, we're primarily using three lures I like to use today. There's a lot of varied lures out there, but I use three primarily heavily. First one is this one right here, a musky special. It's a jointed lure. Uh, see the water's a little bit stained, that gives you a little bit more noise in the stained water. Second one we'll be using will be a Loki. The Loki, you can see this one's had a few little teeth marks on it. <laughs> it's for, again, we are just a little bit cleaner as we get in a little bit cleaner water later on. We'll go to the Lokis. They're wood baits, uh, not quite so much noise, not quite so much rattle. So the joiner will attract them in the mud. These attract them in the clear water. Okay. The last one we're going to use will be the fingerling. I think it's because of the vibrating action of the fingerling. That's why the fish like them so much. But off the boards, we primarily use fingerlings. Got different varied lengths. So we find out what level they want and different colors. But they do take a lot of fish for me. Makes sense to me. Okay, I got the lure type. I know we're going to be trolling. Now, how do we set up all these planer boards and, and whatnot to effectively go after these fish? Okay, Darren, what we're going to use today, we're going to use this dual planer board. We're going to add out with the planer board mast here with the Riviera automatic reel. Automatically brings the line back in, makes it easier on you. While that's going out, we'll set a rod here. We're going to set a bait. Fingerling, we're going to set it back 30 feet. We're going to use the summer there. We use the smaller black releases for the steelhead. Now we're going to use the bigger black releases for the muskies. They're heavier. So they get more hooks out when they come off. That's why you don't have to set the hook. The release does it for you. Farther you let it up the board line will help with the depth of the lure. So it just depends on where they're hitting, you set them on the board line that way. And depending on the day, today is calm, if the winds get a little choppy, then you bring them back from the board a little bit so it don't pop the releases. Next we're going to set a, what we call a lay down rod or long rod. We've got a, because of the water, we're going to a little brighter little frog, green and white. We're using a four ounce lead. We're going to give it four ounces, 15 feet. That way the bait will be running just under the surface, four or five feet. So the fish can pick it up. They come up a little higher. They can see it a little better. Again, the line counters, you need to know where to go to go back to repeat. So you're using a line counter. Wherever 15 feet is, you just put it back to 15 feet. We're using a salty. Hold it, hold the long rod. What's nice about them, they hit this way, you turn it back, lift up, and release it out when the fish hits. Rather than that, it won't release. Okay, the next one we're going to use down is what they call a down rod. You can use anywhere from ballpark of six ounces to 24 ounces of lead on this. What it does is go straight down behind the boat so it sits just underneath the props. We'll set it over. We're going to give it six feet of line today, right now, to See where that takes it just underneath. Again, we're using salties. 
It goes down the tips right in the water. Helps keep the weeds off the bait a little bit. Also, I can make a good fish. You got a lot of line out there. He's taking a lot of line out there. Got a feeling he's gonna jump. Got that feeling. He's taking a lot of line. Good. 52. Still taking line. Now either he just has attitude, or we got a big guy. Drag's pretty good looking at all. He must have fired off about. We'll take that clicker <laughs> off. One just hit this rod as I was reeling it up. Well, something hit it? Yeah. Man, you need to touch a couple more. I got to do that. Get him to the Well, there he goes some more. He's taking line again. Uh, slow her down some more. There. Take some more pressure off him. Now, you were telling me yesterday. Before we came out, a lot of times it's better to maybe hold the rod halfway down like this yeah. instead of the constant pump because you can go either way, right? Yeah. Works much better because you can lift them up and you can't put as much pressure when you lift them. When he starts running at you, you can reel. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Let's keep reeling in case he's. I think he is. No, he's gone. I felt a little bamf yeah. and that was it. That's incredible. Wow. Fired off that much line. Good fish. Man. Well, that was a screamer. Man. No, he's there. He's there. He was swimming towards the boat. Oh, good. <laughs> Gee, man, he, he must have been sw swimming fast. I see a big shadow. <laughs> I see a shadow. I haven't got a real good look yet. I see a lot of, a lot of shoulders on him. I yeah, see a big shadow. He, he was just screaming right towards the boat. I think it's a good fish. And if he's not a brute, I'm going to tell you what. He's been eating some Wheaties. <laughs> <laughs> he's heavy. Look at, the, look at the width of him. Yeah. Well, he screamed off a lot of lines. All right. Oh, wow. Man, oh, man. Yeah, he's got some attitude, all right. Yeah, he does. He's a good fish. That's a good fish. Get the net out of your mouth. Yeah, he's got he's got everything in that mouth. Leave me my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, teeth on that guy. My goodness. That was that old frog I was looking for. No wonder Shad have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish, man. <laughs> nice fish. Built for speed, man. Yeah. He fired off what? A couple hundred feet. Oh yeah. Easy. 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 Yeah. Well, we'll fire him back and, and let him grow. Wow. Built for speed. Gone. Went straight Just down. like that. Yep. Good fish. What happened to the clucker? Wow. Had one get on and get off, then this one suddenly gets on. Well, that's the closest thing to a double, you know? Get that speed down. Whoa. He suddenly realized that we had him. Suddenly realized I was in the neighborhood, I guess. A down rod. Yeah, that was straight down. I didn't hear it at first because I was messing with that. And then it let go and then this one took off. Clicker couldn't have been on on that reel. It was just like this. Yeah, clicker's not on. Oh. The 
thing is done. Well, I, yeah, well, you know, I heard it, and then all of a sudden, so one of them's going, but I couldn't see anything. So I said, it must be the one that's straight down, because that'd be the hardest to see. Yeah, you can't get closer to a double. Yeah, the other one was on there solid, and then all of a sudden, it was just like he opened up his mouth, and he was gone. Yeah, this was, I mean, straight down behind the boat. All right, come see the net. Scoop and score. Guess what it is, all the frog there and all the frog there. Gee, Minnie. Come here, gripper. They're liking that pattern on the lure, huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very cooperative guy. Very cooperative. Not shaking, not jumping around. Until I say that. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I say that. Hey, we're out here. Man. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to grab it. Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's as closest thing to a triple as we're gonna <laughs> Gee, my knee! Well you found a pot of fish here. We'll release this one. here. No, we're going to use a different net. Different net? Oh, look at him. Man, I'm shaking that head. I'll get behind you. And we'll do the scoop and score. Okay. Well, that's the closest thing to a triple. Man. Gee, money. Both nets all wound up. Yeah. We just can't get them uh, to take a break long enough for us to get things reset, I guess. <laughs> what pattern is that uh, lure there? Ocean perch. Ocean perch. Stop that now. I'm yeah, I can see. You where I can get the gripper in there. Yeah, I can see how that might be a cut waiting to happen, huh? Oh, yeah. Where I got my fingers is right in the gill plate. That's also a cut waiting to happen. At least he's being somewhat cooperative at this point. No, yeah, just give him cooperative enough go. to... I just want to know the pliers. All the pliers, here you go. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. And he can just go right in, can he? Yeah. No, he can let go of my finger first. <laughs> then he can go right in. <laughs> Man, I, we're not even gonna be able to get this uh, this mess undone. <laughs> we just have the almost triple, and now here's another one. Almost still a quadruple. Trying to, still trying to get the lure out of the net. Gee, money. We are a lot that, of fish here. Leave that net there, and we'll get these rods cleaned up. Yeah, he's exerting a little more will on me. I get that throttle slowed down there. So. Are you up for much longer? Uh, no. I'm making one more swipe through here, and I'm going to point at the flare hole. Okay, good one. Got a few in the corner? Not even to the corner. So we're only halfway to the corner. Oh, okay. Uh, we missed the right by the Just rolling in and everything. Oh, well, looks like he unrolled. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice cooperative fish. Now be cooperative. Let me get the gripper. They saved my fingers. That's as close as thing to four, man. Yeah, this has been a hot little troll here. Can't get no closer than that. Now just cooperate, let me go, and we'll let your people go. 
We gotta get rods back in the water. And we're yeah. back catching fish. Yeah, we got like three of them out trying to trying to get these fish out of the way here. Man, another cutie. I'm so glad Berkeley came up with that gripper because it definitely saved my fingers. Oh yeah. Skipper, I know you were telling me a little bit earlier about how, you know, find a bait, find a fish. But let's say I'm in an, another body of water, you know, any, any body of water that might hold musky. What is the one key, if you had to say one, that would uh, help me find musky on my waters? Same thing, still find the bait. Those fish are going to come to that bait. Now, that might be a different water structure oriented, where the bait comes to the structure. But if you find bait, you're going to find fish. They're going to work their way into it. At some point in time, they'll come to it. So. If you can find the bait, you'll find fish. So if the bait were to move away from, let's say that there was some structure that, that the bait was orienting itself with, a hump or some you know trees on, you know, underwater. Fish oh, fish on. Oh, big fish too. Oh yeah, he's taking it good. Yeah. Well, it's hard to ask you a question without fish going on. <laughs> Gee, Manny. What a way to ask a question. <laughs> and he, he looks like he wants to swim a little bit. He looked pretty decent when he came out of the water. I didn't oh, see oh him you all. saw him come up? Yeah, all right. I didn't see him all. I saw him splash. Part he's, of him. he's still going. I know I can't get on, anything on him when he's running. That's good. we got lots of time. Whenever he lets up, I. There we go. A little bit. Well, you can tell when they turn it on, oh, then, he, then he wants to go back away again. <laughs> yeah, he's not in any big rush, is he? That's good. The yeah. longer he takes, the bigger he is. Yeah. Well, you can tell when they're swimming towards the boat, can't you? So as soon as he doesn't want to swim towards the boat, he takes all the line he wants. Got to keep that tension on. I know that if you give them some slack line, that's probably not a good thing, is it? No, the hooks are gone. They're not getting hooks solid at all right now. Don't know why, but they're not. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, made that big lunge there. That's a decent one. I see your weed guard. Yeah, the water's murky. You can't see the fish from five feet away. I see the weed guard. Oh, I see I a shadow. I can see. That's all I can see. But it looks like a good fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Big thick head. Uh, oh, 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 you got him. All right. Good scoop, Skipper. Oh, ah, good fish. Man, he spit the hook right there in the net again. Oh, again. Oh, my. Boy, look at the length on this guy. Yeah, he's a long fish. Woo! Not girth, but long. Boy, that lure is right out, isn't it? Yeah, he spit it right there. Boy, if I'd have given him any loose line, he'd have been gone with that's, it. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing right now. He's not happy right now either. No, he's not. Wow. Well, this one is definitely eating his Wheaties. <laughs> Gee, man. You should have used some of that energy out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was conserving. Nice markings on him, too. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Ouch. Teeth, too. <laughs> yeah, a little bit bigger head, a little bit more teeth going oh, on. Yeah. Woo! Now you're up over 20. Yeah. He's still yeah. a lean fish, but he's a long fish. Oh. Lean this over here and get a uh, look at him. Oh yeah, yeah, a little thicker fish, bigger fish. Yeah, I think we're getting up in that 40 land, aren't we? Oh, 42? he's probably 45. 45? Yeah. 44 anyway. Yeah. Good thick guy. And he's got so much energy. We'll take a look at the teeth on this guy. You know? That's a good fish. I mean. He's got those adult, that adult set, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> I found out they're sharp, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's got them, man, all around. And then spit that hook right there at the last second. Just a, been definitely eating his Wheaties. So I'll do the same thing and hope that he's ah, kept a little bit of energy. Oh, yeah, he didn't even bother. Whoosh. He's up. On his side, instead oh, of his right. belly. He's going to be fine. Yeah, he's going to roll good. He's getting his breath back. Yeah. 
A lot of times when a fish expends a lot of energy like that, they'll go belly up. This one just went onto a side. Gills are working good. We never even touched the fish. He did a little bit of flop and that probably just dazed him a little bit. But he's back there splashing around. And as always, we'll keep a good eye on this fish. And if he doesn't ride himself, we'll go back there and resuscitate him more. Well, Skipper, like I was saying before that 45 inch interrupted us, <laughs> Do you think that if the uh, if the bait moves away from structure and that type of stuff, that the that the muskie follow that pot of bait? Yes, most definitely. They'll follow it around. If it moves a mile or so, they'll move a mile or so with it. Yeah, what I'm hoping to see is like that big giant cloud of bait, and then you see the, I guess what looks like what straight up and down markings on the fish finder. On my fish finder, that's what it is. It's a straight mark. What you got on there right now? Around. I'm going to stand okay, by. Jim, what up. would you say is a is, is an average number of fish that somebody might expect when they come out here and and uh, go trolling with you? Right now, down we've been catching for average number. We got real high numbers here in this lake, so I would say from four to ten fish is not unreasonable to expect to get in that ballpark range of that four to ten fish. Man, wow! So the fish of a thousand cast, uh, you you pretty much got his number, don't you? <laughs> we've got a lot of fish here in this lake. <laughs> Now, your best day ever, you know, don't be modest. What's the most muskies you've had in the boat in a day? 27 in one day. Are you kidding me? 27. People might not believe it, but we had 27 in one day. Man, now, now does that include muskies that have come up and hit it and, and missed it or got lost? Boated fish. That's in the boat. We lost another four right at the back of the boat that day. Oh, man. So when I hear people say, uh, you know, quite often when you're out in the boat, you'll hear skippers say, well, I was, Four for eight. Fish on, fish on. Oh, I was four for eight today. When that, wow. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what, it's hard to interview you, you know? <laughs> you know? That's what we like. When somebody says they were four for eight, do they mean that they missed four and they got four type of thing? Usually not. Usually you don't count a miss, it just hits it and goes away. We've had three or four of those today. Yeah. Usually what you count when you got a fish on like this, fish is coming in, fish gets in a few feet from the boat and spits it. Then we count that as one that we lost. Oh, okay, okay. So, but the ones out there, they're just misses because they'll come up and they'll, they're so powerful, they'll hold the bait for a few seconds, run off 30, 40 feet of line, let go and not get in the hook. Right. Well, you really can't count when something like that happens. We had that happen to us already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this huge one just grabbed the hold of this thing and just bent it like a like a freight train and, and, and went off. It must just open up his mouth. I mean, you know, I didn't get a chance to grab the rod. Yeah, you know? that's, we had that yesterday too, four or five times. Oh, there oh it was came up splash. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Out there wagging the tail. That's what we like to see. Get him up in the water. They're not jumping as good today as they did yesterday. Yesterday they were jumping a little better. Well, no one's ever going to call a muskie a weak fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they yeah. have some power. Gee, man, they. Some fish are quiet, some fish are super active. But they all got power. Well, we've had several that come up and do backflips and stuff yeah. for us, you know. It's one that we never got a hit on because I guess seaweed was on the hook or whatever, but it came up and looked at one of the baits. Just flashed right here at the back of the boat. I mean, they absolutely do not fear this boat, do they? No, no. They'll actually come up to the boat for food because the props of sun, bass and walleye and stuff as we're going over them. They know that, they're smart enough, they come up and look for food. We've stunned with the props of easy food. And it's not like we're just idling here. What's your average trolling speed that works well for us? We run four to four, three in that ballpark. That's a pretty colored fish. You see, you see, that one's got the pink fence like I'm used to seeing, but we had that one a little bit earlier that had the... Oh, he's got his mouth open. It was like green colored fins instead. I'm used, to, I'm used to seeing the, you know, the, the pinkish, tannish type color instead of the, instead of the, you know, green like we saw earlier. Yeah, that one fish was real green. So that one fish this here had no markings at all, just clear about this size right here. Wow. Not a spot. I took a picture of it. Pretty little fish, real pretty. Yeah. Well, this one is too. Clean, healthy. Yeah, it's a nice mark. Got real nice markings on it. Dark spots on them. Yeah, nice mark. And then the nice pink fins. Little pink hue on the inside of the mouth and whatnot. I already got those adult set going. How <laughs> <laughs> short once they grow up. Yeah, yeah. And which lure again? Yeah. 
Surprise. Gee, Rainbow buddy. Trout again. Surpri Rainbow Trout, man. A rainbow trout in this time of year or something? I don't know, not to my knowledge, but they sure want to hit it. It seemed like all the hits were coming on one side and, you know, not the other, and it, I guess it goes back and forth, eh? Yeah, this side's been dead and that side's been going. Yeah. Same baits. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh you got a fish on now. Get him, get him, get him. I want to probably just doing a net job. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's taking a lot of drag. Right on the surface right there. Oh, you saw him? Yeah, he's right there. See him? Oh, yeah, there he is. That's that crap you just put out. Oh, you just changed, look, just tweaking it, huh? I guess you tweaked right. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you holding it at that, like, halfway position. You get a lot of leverage that way, don't you? Well, one thing is that if you need to come up, you can. Go down, you can, but if you hold it right there, he's coming right at me right now. But as soon as he hits, he's going to go down. Okay. So that gives you the leverage to go either way. Yeah. And okay. lets me go either way right there. So used to seeing people just steady pump, pump, pump. It's not a requirement for it because what you want to do is pull him slow. Yeah. If you pull him slow, he doesn't know he's coming at you. Huh. Just, just keep We're steady. Work back there and get a net. Try my hand at this. See if I can scoop and score. <coughs> Seen him yet? Just that first time. I haven't saw how big he is. They yeah, came up the same with the other ones. I saw that splash. trout again. Surprise. <laughs> well, there's productive lures and then there's this rainbow trout, eh? Yeah, it's been good today. I mean, this thing has just been non-stop. I never really used it until yesterday. This year, we have it a little wee bit, but the water just hasn't been right for it. When the water's right, it really works. My boy's got that hook in there. That... Yeah, he's, he's firmly hooked. Yeah, I've got that one right through the bottom jaw. Can't even get a hold of it. There huh. he is. All right. Nice little fish. Yeah. Nice marking. Really dark, nice. dark dots on that one. Yeah, nice markings. So it's not like they're all carbon copies, is it? Okay, we'll release them and let them go for another day. Yeah. We kind of straighten that hook, too. I don't know if you notice He's that. up. Yeah, one of them hooks seemed like he straightened it a little bit. Straighten her back up. Yeah. That yeah, could be the bend I put on them, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoop. A scoop and a score. It pays to do something with you no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we either sit down together or I try to ask you a question, a fish goes, you know? <laughs> Gee, Benny. That was a 30 foot. We'll have to do that again, just sit down and look at rods, boom, you know? <laughs> What's our depth right now, Skipper? 13.7. 13.7. Do you find that, that most of the muskies come in uh, a, a certain depth range rather than uh, just all over the, the, the map? Yes, Don. What we find usually is the fish, the numbers of fish will stay inside at the 16 foot range, 9 to 16. It's usually real good numbers for high numbers of catch. Once you go outside to 16, you get a more loner fish, but usually bigger fish. If you're looking for a trophy, you probably want to go in that 16 to 20 foot water, where inside you get more numbers of fish around the side. You get big fish and small fish both places, but you better chance for a big fish. All right. Jim, what are you doing? <laughs> right good. in the middle of a turn. Look, see him? Oh, big fish. That might be him. Oh, Jim, we're right in the middle of this turn, just like, you know, just like I was saying. That's that boat rod, too, and they just explode <laughs> close to the boat. Wow. Is it common when you do a turn to attract a fish? Yes. Well, he's shaking his head a lot. Oh, he's a big fish. Hang in there, buddy. Stay calm. 
We just want to take it. Here's a fish. <laughs> yeah, well, he's definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. No, you said stay calm. Here's a fish. So, yeah. I don't know who's more tense, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice fish here. Yeah, that's a good fish. Well, come on over to this side, buddy. Don't be yeah. over there in them lines now. And he feels like he ate his breakfast this morning. And he keeps trying to take a time out. Oh! A horse, a horse. Oh, look at that. A horse. Showing his teeth. Oh, big mouth. Oh, yeah. Well, now, now you need to come over here, buddy. I don't want him in them lines. Oh, he's fine, Will. He's got some weight to him, Jim. Oh, yeah, he's a good fish. Big mouth. Look at that mouth. Oh, man. Look at the splash. Yeah, yeah. There's sub going down. Yeah, he's down now. Okay. Yeah, come on in. What we're going to do is... the back here. What we're going to do is a little scoop. Yeah, just two step over. Come on, stay calm. Oh, no, don't. No, no. Okay. Yeah, we want to take a real good picture of you. Hello. He scooped and scores the big fish. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Man. Now that guy's got some anyway. beef. Hey, 48 anyway. Woo. 48-ish? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Here is a, oh, you got one? Man, oh, man. We've been wanting to, oh, I pulled the trigger myself. <laughs> I pulled the trigger. Man, oh man. That's a beauty. Wow. Big guy. And hit the boat rod. Yeah, they haven't been Gee, doing that many. most of the year. Man. Oh, he's a big fish. Yeah, he's, he's a load, he's a load. I want to get a picture of that Big one. guy. That one myself. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a load there. All right, yeah, we're going to get this brute back in, man. I don't want to stress a big monster fish. Oh, the size of this guy. Oh, oh and this is a big fish. You come out of the water back there. I don't know if you saw him or not, but he's a good one. Oh, look at the size of that fish. Woo, woo, woo. Now in a second, I'll get you to take the rod from me and I'll net this fish. He's well over 30 pounds, this one. Not quite done yet. Okay, Don, put her in neutral for me, please. He's wore out enough, we can get him in neutral now. Okay, if you take the rod, I'll net him. Okay, we got him. Good job. All right. Holy smacker. Oh, oh, oh. Big boy, settle down, settle down. We'll put you back. Big fish. Big heavy fish. Oh yeah, I spit the lure right in the net. that net out of there? Wait a minute, we can't. There, take that and get it away. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a big, big fish. Look at the size of that fish. Okay, we'll get him back. We don't want to hurt him. We want to let him go so we can catch him again. Five fish just in a heartbeat. Oh, he's up on top now. Coming at me. Come on. Well, they're as thick as flies in here. 
Have they been keying on any particular pattern of lure? No. I thought a frog was speaking for itself. Now this is a bass. It was green. And then that ocean purchase. Was that green? No, it's for yellow with a red bar. You know what I bet you they all had in common? They moved. <laughs> <laughs> now that I got to agree 100%. <laughs> they moved, they hit it. <laughs> That's a little better fish. He's staying down, isn't he? Oh, he's going over that way. You mean I get the scoop and score this time? You do. Oh, that is a better fish. Yeah. These Shimano reels work nice. They're smooth as all get us. Well, look at the sound of that drag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big guy. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Fish, fish, that one, yeah, that's oh. a fish. Da, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. He spit the hook, too, already. Whoa, oh, the lure's out. Yeah. I better hurry up and get him in. He's got some weight to him, man. He might give me a heartbeat of a hand there. There we go. Good fish. Wow. Get your head back and... Oh, that's a real nice fish, isn't he? Oh, there you are. Now, over and see Oh, now we got you. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah, that's one. That's a better fish. Nice one. A lot better fish. Oh, yeah. And see, he's got his adult teeth going. <laughs> yeah, he does so. <laughs> that is a nice one. Real nice. Spit the hook right in the net. Let's take a couple stills of that one, Jim. Up to the mud. Double, oh, double, double. double. Triple. Triple. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Yeah, you do that one. I'll hang on to these. Okay. Can you slow the speed down for us? Yeah, I think I'll... Uh... <laughs> Can we get any more yes. reels? We got a triple on. Oh, I'm going to slow the boat down. Just a little. Oh, four. We got four? <laughs> the one just hit right there. Oh, man. We got to remember this spot. Man, you got one in each hand. Real with my teeth. Yeah. So the fourth one in your toes. Well, this one feels small, so maybe I can hurry up and get him in. I think those lines are... Well, this one came off when I set it down. Okay, just as well. <laughs> Gee, my knee. That's the fingerling you just put on there. Man, this is what I just put on. Yeah, yeah. It's technical. It just looked cool. <laughs> I said, now something's just got to bite this. Fortunately, he agreed. <laughs> you know? Woo! <clears throat> Lots of splashing going on. Oh, shook the lure. Spitter right there. Man. How about you get that one? I'll get back to this one. Well, these fish are violent, man. They just shake whatever they want. And... Gee. Well, this one is still here. I guess I should grab the other net, huh? He's swimming right out the boat. Yeah, he's still here. So we'll have to have a little pandemonium going on. <laughs> you know? Well, we lost that one, you had another hit. That was a quadruple. <laughs> We'd have We'd had a lot of hands. fun. <laughs> yeah. We'd have had more hands. Maybe we're gonna order another set on the internet or something, another set of hands. You know, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna grab him real quick while okay, you're fighting. This one's here, still out there. Yeah, since you got a little this bit of I think this is a heavy fish. I'm gonna grab him if I can and release him. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's possible. He'll just let me. And it looks like. Yeah, that was the plan. Gotta get this net out of his mouth. Oh, another one, another one going. Gee, my knee. Okay, he's back. Ah, gee. 
Well, now we do got the. This is a good fish right here. Look at this fish. Oh, you got another. Oh, that's the one I just let go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, he's heavy. Let's heavy. See what we got here. Uh, oh, this is a long fish. I'm going to have to strain a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's got some legs here. We ran out of nets. <laughs> and now I'll let you untangle that one. And I'll relieve you. How about that? <laughs> Gee, money. <laughs> well, what do you do? Let go? That's another good fish. Yeah, he, man, look at the weight on him. Yeah, he's a carbon top of that one there just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Maybe even a little bit longer. Well, that was a nice pocket of fish there. <laughs> Come on, you critter. We're going to let you go. Now I better get this one back so we can get this one in. Oh! <laughs> oh. You're supposed to release them in the water. Yeah, we're supposed boat. to go in the water. We don't got no nets. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get this here. Let's bring him over here. I'll pick him up. Okay. We're not gonna worry about. Yeah, he's a smaller guy. We ought to be able to. There we go. Stop now. Stop yeah. now. Where's the pliers? Oh, good. I well, don't need those. <laughs> Gee, money. Now that increases your numbers in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Come here, you. All right, we'll get this one back Ooh. so you can grow. Well, another biggie. Man. Pandemonium. <laughs> That's oh, right. Man. Hey, that, Gee, <laughs> man, that could have been a five and a five at a time. <laughs> wow. You know, you get out here with the right equipment, you get out here with the right guide, great things can happen fishing for muskie. Showing techniques can be deadly. You need to put properly employ them and then grow a few sets of hands. <laughs> Many ways to target muskie, but you know trolling, you can cover so much more area in a short amount of time. I know we've covered several miles here today, and I know we're at 20 fish. And of course, you know, not every occasion are you gonna get 20 fish, and uh, not every outing, obviously, but in this particular case we have, and of course we got Mr. Wonderful. And uh, primarily it's due to the knowledge of your captain and which boils down to the knowledge of the water system that you're in. I'm not going to keep stressing him while I'm talking to you, but, you know, big fish are not as common as small fish. You know, so you can't expect to go out and get 20, 50 inch fish because that's just not the way it works. There's a lot more smaller fish out there. But by trolling, you can cover a large area and you're probably going to come upon these big baits of school like the skipper was telling you. These big, you know, these big bait schools are what attracts all these muskie. And so I think that some of the techniques that the skipper was showing you here, such as using planer boards to spread your, your effective fishing area, you know, he's probably got 40 to 50 feet out on each side of the boat, plus the width of the boat. So we're basically fishing 100 feet uh, instead of just the width of an eight or, 12, or 10 or 12 foot boat. So we're going through a much larger area using a variety of baits at first, and then you noticed how he selectively started keying in on which lures are working. Uh, using some of these down rods to target fish right in the wake of the boat where they're stunned by the, you know, by the propeller. And then of course, some of these boat rods, some of these long rods that keep it just off to the side of the boat, but still again, down and near the, you know, near the boat, near where some of these bait fish are being sort of stunned. Easy prey for these muskie. So, uh, Bottom line is, trolling covers a lot of area, a short amount of time. Using these techniques, you too can be successful going for muskie.